Hey, in this video we're going to learn how to play dueling banjos on our woodrow. And uh, in this video I'm going to play it on this old timer of a black walnut top. It has a nice banjo -y sound to it. We're going to try to get both parts, both the, uh, the, the first part and the response. And the uh, idea is that a lot of times we'll be playing the first section on the high string or the double string, then the response on the bass string, the low string, because those are both the same note, just an octave apart. Uh, it has a few different sections in it, and we'll just start with the very first section. We're going to strum the instrument about three times open, like that. We'll go to the first fret on the middle string, strum it one time like that, then back to open. And you can do the call and response. You can just pick it on the one string on the middle string if you want. And you can do the response with the full strum does that twice. The next section will start on the second fret of the high string, or the double string. We go two, three, four, two, three, one, two, open one, then we'll play it on the bass string. One more time. Then on the bass string. Then it does the uh, Jack and the Weasel part. So it'll start on the middle string open, then to the high string or strings open. Open again. One, two, open, two, one. And then the response is very similar. Just start that on the high string, open, open, open. One, two. Open on the high string. And it kind of just rests there for a second. And then we get to the fourth part here. And that's just going to be a run up part of the D scale and back down a couple frets. So it'll be open on the high string. One, two, three, four, three, two. So you see where it starts on open, goes up to four, then just goes back a couple frets. And we do the same thing on the bass string. Open, one, two, three, four, three, two. Let's go do that call and response again. Now on the bass string. Now this is where it's going to get a little tricky. We're going to go and do the same run, but it's going to be in the key of G. So we've got to start on the third fret of the bass string, and then it's going to go to the middle string open, middle string one, then we're going to need to bend that uh, middle string along the first fret. So we're going to stay right where we are and just going to bend it down so we get about a half a pitch higher, then hit the high string, then bend that first fret on the middle string again, then release it back to its normal position, and that's how we'll end it. So let's do that again. Start on the G, which is going to be the third fret of the bass string, middle string open, middle string one, bend the middle string on the first fret, to the high string, bend it back on the middle string first fret, and then play it natural again. So after we play that run up and down the G, that we just did, we're going to go and play it again on the D string, and it'll be a call and response. So we did a little high string, low string, then the next time we're going to do it, we're going to play it in the key of A, so we're just going to do the same thing we did, and it's going to be a lot easier than G because we don't have to bend it, but we're going to play that same run up and down the A string, and we're going to just use that position for both times. Open on the middle string, then one, two, three, four, three, two. And it's going to go into that first part again. And instead of just playing it on the middle string with that, we can play chords there instead. It's going to be a D chord and a G chord. The D chord is going to be second position on the bass string, then open on the next two strings. 
then the G chord is going to be three on the bass string, one on the middle string, and then open on the high string or the high strings. And then back to the D. So it'll play like this. It does that call and response two times, then it starts the pattern again. Here I like to go ahead and strum all the strings while I play that part. Um, now it's going to change up a bit right here. It's going to go into a series of chords. It's going to be three main chords, G, except it's going to look like the G we just did, it was going to be upside down. So now our pinky or our uh, ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the high string. So start with the bass string, it's open, one on the middle string, three on the high string. Then it'll go to D, and it's going to be an upside down version of the D we just played. So open, open two. Then A, A is going to be one, open, one. Go back up to a D. It's going to play that series again, except this time I'm going to end with an open D. Now it's going to immediately go back into those runs. just a little bit, but that's the, that part. Again, you can make that as fast as you want, it'll just repeat and cycle through that again. At the end of the song, um, after, after those runs, it, I think it might go back into the, and play through that pattern a few more times than uh, twice, so it's probably like four times, and it, some people do a fancy ending at the end, but that's the gist of the song. So just remember those four parts. That first part went over. Play that a couple times. Then the run started on the second fret. So that call and response, that'll play through two times. Then, um, what was the next part? Oh. Remember, instead of jumping into that, when the song picks up, it'll jump into those series of chords. And those are all the parts that you need to play the song. Just go back over what we went, the order that we went through through the beginning of the video, and work on just getting it all together. When you start out, again, start with just one string at a time. Give it, give it that build up. So as you get further in the song, then start strumming all the strings, and then you'll, your tempo will pick up as well. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you were able to follow what we're going over in the video. Um, if you like the channel, please subscribe so you'll be alerted when new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.